welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this practical video i will guide you for steel structure design in which they did more than five big mistakes in this steel structure design especially for plinth beam and its column guys you can see this is plinth beam which is already constructed at the height of 12 inches in the top of this they did they did one inch dpc if you see guys this is column let me show you some big mistakes the size of this column is 15 by 15 inches with eight numbers of steel rods dia is 16 millimeter which is designed for five-story commercial building remember guys the steel structure design should be designed for structure load unfortunately they didn't follow the rules regulation of steel structure design they didn't calculate the structure load of this building which is five story and they keep the size of column 15 by 15 inches next guys you can see they didn't provide any ties because at the height of plinth level we have 12 inches guys you can see are more than 12 inches sorry this is about 15 inches you can see we have five bricks each brick thickness is three inches so when you calculate its mortar so it's going up to 18 inches guys you can see they didn't provide the ties or rings inside this column if you see guys so they have more chances of collapse here guys you can see how they will place the rings inside this they can't provide here before providing are making the design of steel structure of beam so they should place the rings inside this column and its spacing should be maximum four inches because this is designed for five-story commercial building but they didn't provide it here so this is one of the big mistake in the construction of this column so this is the second one because already the size is minimum of our five-story commercial building next guys you can see the plinth level is already constructed but before this plinth level they should uh, they should complete the rings inside this column next guys you can see this is the beam which size is 18 by 12 inches this is the other column they didn't provide the rings at the height of or at the level of plinth beam they should provide the rings but they didn't provide guys you can see how they will place the rings here let me show you properly look here guys so this is beam beam will be placed on the top of this dpc you can see the size of the beam is 12 by 18 inches you can see guys here they are not able to provide the rings or ties inside this column steel reinforcement look at here guys if you are working on construction site so be careful especially for these technical terms which i'm showing you in this practical video look at here guys they didn't provide at the height of 18 inches they should provide minimum three rings that's why because this is five story commercial building at the base of the column we should provide the spacing closely guys you can see this is the beam they provided two bars at the bottom three at the top so this is the third big mistake guys you can see look here this is the ties how they will place or set this ring inside this place so they are not able they, they are just wasting the time so they don't have any steel structure design they don't have any supervision only they are doing something i don't know why they did like this so this is uh, the millions of dollar project guys you can see they wasted everything you can see they didn't provide the development length they did not provide the proper steel reinforcement at the bottom three at the top two at the bottom they are opposite of the steel structure design rules regulation look at here guys if you see the spacing of stirrups let me show you the spacing of stirrups etc so which is about 12 inches you can see they didn't provide any development length. everything is wrong in this construction so this is a poor construction of this commercial building if you are working on construction site if you are studying so remember these important points which i'm showing you in each practical video look here guys hooks are bent on 90 degree it should be provided on 135 degree at the distance of l by 4 the spacing should be closely because we have more chances of cracks at the distance of l by 4 because there we have negative bending moment you can see they provided two bars at the bottom three at the top at the bottom this is tension zone so we have 
maximum tension there so to reduce the tension so provide maximum numbers because concrete is weak in tension but it's strong in compression but in compression zone they provided three bars at the bottom which is tension zone they provided two bars you can see the lapping at the distance of l by 4 everything is wrong